Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Agriculture and Water Resources. Will the minister update the House on new innovations in the wine industry that will support the integrity of Australian wine in the international marketplace? How will such innovations help to boost winemakers in my electorate and the Australian wine industry more broadly? I call the Minister for Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Mr. Speaker, I thank the honourable member for his question. In fact, the 27th question for today. Um, Obviously, the wine industry, Mr. Speaker, has been one that has shown great promise since we have been in government, and we have seen a major turnaround, a major turnaround, a major turnaround, and which has seen since September 2015. Members on my left will contain themselves. In the most, in the most recent 12 months, an 8% increase to exports of $1.96 billion. $1.96 billion, and Mr. Speaker, this has seen exports. This has been exports to China rise by 47 per cent to $313 million and just goes to show you what great work, uh, how it pays a dividend, the work that we are doing in the free trade agreements, the work we are doing getting protocols in place is actually delivering a better return not only through the farm gate but to the cellar door. And Mr Speaker, we've also seen wine sales to Canada up by 4 per cent to $189 million, to Hong Kong up by 24 per cent to $118 million. And Mr Speaker, the reason this wine sells is not only because of the hard work that we are doing, the hard work that the free trade agreements have brought about in returns, but also because, obviously, it is a brilliant product. It is a brilliant product that has been brought together by the hard work and endeavours of so many people in South Australia and Western Australia, in the Hunter Valley, over such a long period of time. Mr Speaker, this work is, uh, is of such a nature that it, it's not surprising that people want to mimic it. And we are doing our very best that, to make sure that uh, we get the protocols in place so that we own the intellectual property and that it is not counterfeited. But if that is not good enough, there are companies such as Best and Global Food Company, which is now bringing about the forms of tracking so that this product can be tracked all the way through and so that a person with a smartphone device, whether they're buying it in Shanghai or buying it in Hong Kong or buying it in any manner of places across the globe, can check the authenticity of the product they are buying. Because we always know that uh, if you're buying a good bottle of wine, that you want to make sure that it's the authentic article, that it actually has come from the Coonawarra, or it has come from uh, McLaren Vale, or it has come uh, from the Colton, or it has. And they're all sticking their hands up now. They're all sticking their hands up. Mergen. It has come from Mergen. Mergen. Probably not as much as come from Mergen as it come from McLaren Vale. But, um, but nonetheless, let's not run down Mergen wines. They're very good. Um, and uh, obviously, I've tried some myself from time to time when I run out of money. <laughs> but, but, um, Mr. Speaker, this this is part and parcel of how, even in the wine industry, even in the wine industry, which has been in the depths of despair under the previous government, we are turning it around and we are bringing a better return back through the cellar door for them as well.